On February 18th of 2018, Christian Coleman set the world record in the indoor 60-meter dash with a blistering time of 6.34 seconds, winning the 2018 United States Championships in dominant fashion. This 60-meter dash has since gone down as a nearly untouchable mark over the 60 meters, and in this specific event, Coleman has truly made his mark in history. Out of the top 10 times ever run in this event, Christian Coleman owns all of the top four performances, proving himself as the undisputed greatest 60 athlete to ever run. However, as time has gone on, Coleman has showcased some weaknesses over this event. In 2022, building up to the World Championships, Coleman was again undefeated. However, come the finals, he placed second to Lamont Marcel Jacobs from Italy, taking the silver medal by just three one thousandths of a second. This was really the first time in years that someone else had been able to challenge Coleman on the world's biggest stage in this event. In fact, this was his first loss in the open 60 meters since 2016, ending a winning streak that had gone back more than six entire years. Throughout his career, Coleman has proven his greatness in the shorter sprinting events, earning a world title in 2019 in the 100, and he even showcased his abilities to the football world, crushing a 40-yard dash in 4.12 seconds, silencing any doubters that track athletes are in fact faster than football athletes. To question Coleman's skill set in this explosive event is really a fool's errand. However, there is one man that is set to once again challenge the starting great, and this man in 2024 is Noah Lyles. In this year's New Balance Grand Prix, Noah unleashed a massive personal record of 6.44, taking down a very talented field and now jumping himself to number 11 on the all-time list. This really was a big surprise, not because I didn't think that Noah could run faster than his previous best of 6.51, but because of how much he just improved upon it. To drop this much time off his previous personal record while outright admitting over the years that his start has needed work is a very impressive accomplishment that deserves all of the accolades attached to it. And now, after years of polishing up his start, recalculating his steps, and now ultimately earning his position as one of the greatest 60 meter athletes in the world, he now has his eyes set on 2024 in the World Indoor Championships. And even though many still claim that Christian Coleman is in fact the man to beat, Noel Isles will certainly have something to say about that. He's doing something that's unprecedented that any, any of the top five guys in the sprints have ever done. After setting the world on fire in his 2018 indoor season, Coleman turned to the outdoor campaign to further showcase his dominance in the 100 meters. And even though he was favored to win this season opener in the Shanghai Diamond League meeting, something rather unexpected happened from a rapidly rising sprinter. Running like a man absolutely possessed, Noah took a remarkable win over Christian Coleman in this 100 meter dash, closing like a freight train to take the win in 9.86. This was again a very, very close race, and even though both were listed at 9.86, Lyles ultimately took the W with an official time of 9.852 against Coleman's time of 9.858 seconds. Seeing Noah Lyles close like this was a pretty big foreshadowing moment to what he would do in the future over the 200 meters, but was also a foreshadowing moment to what their growing rivalry would blossom into over the years. After this season opener in 2019, many were eagerly anticipating for when Lyles and Coleman would race again. However, they actually wouldn't race again over the 100 until 2022, when again, it was a very close finish with Coleman ultimately winning over Noah Lyles by just one one hundredth of a second. Every time these two raced, fireworks were all but guaranteed, and that especially became true in 2023, where these two met with amazing speed in every single race. For their first showdown in the Bermuda Grand Prix, Noah ultimately finished 0.02 seconds behind Christian Coleman to set a speedy time for their first showdown. And even though this was strongly wind aided with a typhoon-like wind of positive 4.0, these two performances were still extremely fast and set a solid standard for 2023. Following this opener, they both met in the US Championships, where they both qualified for Worlds in the men's 100. 
And then we all remember the big show, where Noah took a convincing win in the world finals over the 100 meters, winning the gold medal in 9.83, taking down not just Christian Coleman, but Zarnell Hughes from Great Britain, Letsili Tobogo from Botswana, Ferdinand Amanyala from Kenya, and literally everyone else who took the challenge to race against Noah Lyles. This was a big moment as Noah fulfilled the first 100 and 200 meter double since Usain Bolt in the World Finals. However, what many don't remember is what happened just three weeks later in Eugene, Oregon for the Prefontaine Classic, where Christian Coleman managed to take down the world champion Noah Lyles with another blistering race in 9.83 for Coleman to Lyles in 9.85. This rivalry has mostly favored Coleman over the years in the 100 meters, but despite not really getting his start down over the years, Lyles has still held his own, winning on occasion with solid performances. However, the 60 meter dash has certainly favored Christian Coleman, but 2024 could finally be the year where the tides finally change, because 6.44 seconds is moving for Noah Lyles, and Coleman hasn't run this kind of performance since 2022. So perhaps, after years of slowly building into a better starter and still maintaining his top speed abilities, maybe we'll see Noah Lyles at long last edge Christian Coleman in the 60 meter dash. In this weekend's Milrose Games in Upper Manhattan, Coleman will be racing in the men's 60 meter dash, and he will certainly be up against very talented runners, including Andre DeGrasse, Hakeem Sonny Brown, TJ Smith, Dimmick Kemp, and also Akeem Blake from Jamaica, who finished just one one hundredth of a second behind Noah Lyles in this year's New Balance Grand Prix. At 6.45 seconds, Blake set a remarkable standard for the 60 meter dash this season, but it's also important to remember that he has run a time of 6.42 in the past, so keep your eyes on him in this year's Milrose Games. This will be a very exciting season opener for Christian Coleman in the 60, and to see the world record holder back to his most dominant event will certainly be interesting. But the real question is what will be happening in this year's United States Nationals and this year's World Championships, where Noah Lyles is currently set to clash against Christian Coleman. Unlike any year before this, Noah has a real chance of taking down the world record holder, and he also has a chance of winning the world championships. Getting to this form has truly been inspirational. He's been lifting more to give him more power, he's coming off a triple gold medal from last year's world finals, and putting all this together equates to a new world lead in this event, which is the first time that he has ever earned this specific distinction. It's also very important to mention that this year's indoor nationals will be taking place in Albuquerque, New Mexico, which coincidentally is the exact location of where Christian Coleman ran his world record now six years in the past. So with fast expectation, a fast track, and a building showdown for the ages, I'll pass this final question off to all of you. Who do you think will win in this year's indoor nationals between Christian Coleman and Noah Lyles? They both certainly have amazing potential. However, Lyles just might have the edge. Thanks for watching everyone, and as always, until next time.